Next, we look at the next generation of Wisconsin entrepreneurs as these rising stars pitch their business ideas to local moguls. These are the moguls. Jerry Gendusa is the former CEO of MTech. Now he's the founder of Breakthrough, a network of world-changing companies focused on improving lives and untapping human potential. If you've heard one call, that's all. You know David Gruber founder and CEO of Gruber Law Offices. The Gruber family proudly supports organizations and charitable causes throughout Wisconsin. Gail Klappa is the executive chairman of WEC Energy Group, parent of We Energies. He is a member of the executive committee of the Metropolitan Milwaukee Association of Commerce. Jamie Andrzejewski first appeared on Project Pitch It as an entrepreneur. Now, she's back as a guest mogul. Jamie is the founder of Nourish, an all-natural brand of wellness products for the body, mind, and home. This is Project Pitch It. Lily, what's that smell? Sorry guys, I just got done with my soccer practice. It must be my sports bag. I hate that it always smells so bad, but there's nothing I can do to eliminate the odors in a safe and healthy way. Haven't you heard of the new company, Kama? Kama creates plant-based alternatives to air freshening products. And what makes it even better is that none of the products contain toxic chemicals and they're all found in nature. Like I said, we've created one of the only natural air fresheners on the market. Unlike our natural competitors... Lily, what are you talking about? There are no 100% natural competitors. Every product contains harmful chemicals that can create huge health issues such as hormonal changes and even cancer. As I was going to say, Kama products contain only the best ingredients, all of which are found in nature, so you'll finally be able to take a moment to breathe. With about $10,000 in sales alone since we've incorporated last October, with a 78% profit margin, we're expanding at an exponential rate. By the end of the year, we are expected to surpass $15,000 with a couple new products added to our brand. Since entering the wholesale market last January, we've grown tremendously from just a small local retailer to one of the largest supermarkets in the Midwest, Festival Foods. Though we just released our incense sticks, potpourri, and reed diffusers, over the next two years, we are expected to generate $80,000 in revenue with a total net income of $4,000 due to our wholesale increase. But by the end of year three, we are expected to grow over $520,000 with a total net income of $239,000. Though our wholesale process and second year salaries disrupt our two year revenue, we are expected to grow over 600% from our second year in business to our third. <laughs> Alice, can I, can I stop you? Hey, I got a company that has worse margins than that. I'm wondering if I could buy your company right now. <laughs> I'll buy it just for your energy. <laughs> Perfect. And we have some samples for you. So feel free to open up the samples that we've provided for you. Okay. Thanks. Right. Thanks. Tell us about these. So included, we uh, have our incense sticks. Um, that is the large package. And then our uh, sprays. Each of you should have a different scent. Um, and then we also included our car diffusers. Car diffusers are a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. How did you come up with the scents? A lot of testing and development for the scents. We actually blend all of our essential oils that we use in our products. So we get those larger orders for oils and then we blend the scents for all of our products. Every company starts that has a story. So you came up with this idea on your own or what's the story behind how you started? Our company was started within our high school business course, Incubator EDU. Um, it's a national course that really shows uh, students how to start their own business. Where do you guys go to school? North Fond du Lac. What's the next step for you? So, um, as we are seniors, we will be moving on to uh, university or college. Um, so, we are really looking to hire those employees to allow us to continue our business in college. Our plan is to hire high school students because we want to give back to that community. So you're planning on keeping the business going. Yes. You're going to get revenues over 500000 You're going to hire other high school kids. You're going to go on to school. You get out of school. The question that I asked, and David, you and I joked about this before, there was a kid on the show. I'm like, <laughs> why are you going to college? College actually might interfere with your ability to scale the business. Jerry, you're from UWM. You should yeah. be asking that question. Are you, yeah, major that are you majoring though. in business? <laughs> yeah, I plan to go to school. Uh, I plan to go to UW-Madison for marketing. So that'll allow me to um, bring the skills there um, and really scale the business. Well, I absolutely love this space. Um, I'm in this space and- Competitor, so, yeah. you're a competitor, I'd be scared. Yeah. This is terrible, don't go forward. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Uh, but what I absolutely love about it and why I started my company too is that you're absolutely right. There are so few products out there that are 100% clean and natural and people are looking for that right now. I am curious, I love 
I have the bamboo. It smells amazing. How did you learn about essential oils? And something that has really helped me is talking about their therapeutic benefits, right? So it doesn't only smell good, right? It does something wonderful for your body too. I have allergies and the common air fresheners, and my mom, my mom would spray it and I would get like a bad reaction. I'd start sneezing. So when we created this, none of that has been a problem for me. And it's yeah. nice to have a good smelling room without constantly sneezing. That's right, <laughs> that's right. That's really due to the amount of chemicals in traditional products. Um, we've really gone for a transparent overlook. There's really no regulation within the air freshener industry, which is not the best because competitors are able to put in all these ingredients and they don't have to tell you about it. We're completely transparent and that's shown on our ingredient list. Yeah. David has a tough time sleeping at night. How would you help David? I mean, this is important. <laughs> Well, this is a start. What, what's your what's your scent? My, uh, let's see here. My scent is lemonade. Lemonade. How come mine says arrogance? <laughs> I, I don't understand. That. Brilliant energy. Way to go. Way to recognize uh, an absolute need in the market. And yeah, just way to be awesome. Great pitch. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, well, Ketchup Please is doing great. We're in almost 100 retailers across most of Wisconsin. Uh, we also introduced a new flavor. We have our smooth heat flavor and now our original flavor. And we've also done a full product rebranding. When we were originally on Project Pitch It, I believe we were in 15 retailers. Again, we're almost in 100 now. One of the most interesting things is that since the show, we've had a lot of people, whether it's farmers markets, events, just reaching out and they're like, oh, you, you were on Project Pitch It. Uh, so it was really interesting. The show has definitely helped us grow. And it's not just, you know, the numbers. It's actual people who reach out and think that uh, it's really awesome to see some young entrepreneurs on television. And ultimately, it's helped to achieve our, our main goal, which is inspiring younger entrepreneurs in the same thing. Uh, so every time I, I hear someone else say, oh, I saw you on TV or I saw you here. And, I just want your advice. I'm always happy to help, and it's really been awesome to help other people along their entrepreneurial journey as well. I'd also like to thank Project Pitch It, the producers, judges, everybody involved. You've granted us a great opportunity, and we've certainly been able to use that. And we're super happy to not only be on the show, but continue to watch it as viewers now. And we thank you for all of your help, not only for us, but entrepreneurs around the state of Wisconsin. Coming up. These entrepreneurs have a hoodie innovation to keep you extra warm. Later, want to learn about NFTs and cryptocurrency? This entrepreneur has the answers. Two mission-based entrepreneurs and leaders, Jerry Gendusa and Pat Connaughton, are proud supporters of Project Pitch It, a TV show dedicated to inspiring Wisconsin entrepreneurs. Pat impacts communities through the Pat Connaughton Foundation and through his company, Three Leaf Partners. Jerry's company, Breakthrough, focuses on untapping human potential. Together, they are building economic growth and changing lives. All right, I'm Kane Dunham, founder of Whova. I'm Ryan Helida. I'm Riley Schmidt, and we are the co-founders. Did you know you lose 50% of your body's heat through your neck and your head? <laughs> we found through research that middle school, high school, and college students all wear jackets and hats during their school day when they're only wearing them for that walk in and out of the building. So they're only wearing them for this limited amount of time, but they're carrying around with them for the entire school day with no way to put it. That's where we came up with Hoova. Hoova is a lightweight sweatshirt brand that offers a heated hood if you throw up the hood, it has five heating pads selected on the ears, neck, and back of the head. This is where you lose most of your heat through your head. So you throw it up, hit a button, and with under a minute, you'll have that heat rushing straight to your head. Will that work with David's hair? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what to say. Right. <laughs> through research, we have found that the heating pads take less than one minute to fully heat up. Mm. We are also researching a double pocket inside your main pocket on your stomach. We also found that the battery pack has a double charging port, so you're able to charge your phone while the heating pads are also plugged in. This advances our clothing into a smart clothing. So you go, you use your phone connected to your sweatshirt or your hoodie. So, yep, so there's a battery pack in this double pocket, so it has two USBs in it. So while the heating pads are plugged into one, the, you can also plug in a phone charger if needed and you can charge your phone while using it. So we have three main target markets that we think is great for our company. 
One of them being sporting events, for the fans in the stands especially. They don't want to carry all that loose clothing with their jackets and hats around with them walking through the game. You put on our sweatshirt hood, press a button, and you're good to go. As well as camping with friends, or going hunting, fishing, or just hanging out with friends around a fire. Maybe a little chilly, but not too chilly, not too chilly to put on a hat or a jacket. You put on the sweatshirt, press a button, and you're good to go. Or just your everyday stylish lifestyle. I do a lot of deer hunting, mm -hmm. yeah. and I would 100% wear that all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And as you look across the market for this product, who are your competitors? Um, right now, our competitors are just offering a heated vest and heated jacket. None of our competitors have advanced out to a heated hood yet, so we are going to try to be the first product on the market that offers a heated hood. I'm curious about the safety of the product. Is it safe to wear electronics right on your skin? Yep, so this is something we have looked into and it's something we want to get certified before we launch. So it's actually, the heating pads are a clothing safe material. So there's actually a double pocket in the sweatshirt hood here that we have opened up. You place the heating pad in and then stitch it back together. It's safe enough so it's, they don't get hot enough to start flammability mm -hmm. and we have looked into like the heat and wiring being so close to your body to cause any problems. It's something we are for sure going to get certified so that's a problem we do not have to worry about later on. What's your next step? What's your vision? We found that we can make one of our sweatshirts for $12. Mm -hmm. and we plan to sell our sweatshirt at $60, which is a $48 margin that we think is excellent for our company. And we plan to start selling mainly on our website and get that fully developing, and then potentially branch out to Amazon, and then other in-stores, and then potentially outdoor stores like Cabela's, Shields, Dick's, and Bass yes. Pro Shops. Good idea. Very good. You guys did a wonderful job, by yes. the way. It's, Thank you. Sounds like a great idea, too. Thank you. David will wear the prototype at first. We'll see what happens to him, and then we'll take it from there. <laughs> It'll keep that hair looking good, for sure. <laughs> yeah. One day you'll understand what a midlife crisis is. <laughs> You're not at that level yet. <laughs> yeah, so bouncing back to that next step question, uh, we are definitely going to finish up our research and development. So this is just fully finalizing the product, so it is ready for launch. And then we are going to start capital, so start building up our products, getting our storage, getting ready, getting a manufacturer. Good so that's you. where that's we're awesome. going. Excellent. Congratulations. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Good luck. And Thanks. don't forget, moguls, when it's cold outside, remember, Hoover. 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 Heat it up. Uh, Hoover. Yeah. Hoover. Heat it up. Hoover. Love it. Coming up, this entrepreneur is taking on the brave new world of cryptocurrency and NFTs. Hi Mogos, my name is Josiah Love. I am 12 years old and the CEO of JML Tech Studios. You're only 12? Yes. Wow. wow. Good for you. Thank mm -hmm. you. Please raise your hand if you know what is an NFT. Non-fungible token? token? Yes. So an NFT usually comes into images and traits. Those images and traits are put into an NFT. And NFTs are all unique people. Like us, we're all unique. So why would you want to buy an NFT? NFTs can uh, be used in the stock market, exponential growth, and for fun purposes reasons. And how do you put together an NFT? It's like that. First, you would get the base character, an accessory, a second accessory, and then you would get an image. So these are some of the NFTs I made here, generating with Python code. So you're 12 years old, you have your own business, you're doing programming, and you're talking about cryptocurrency. Impressive. Pretty impressive. <laughs> so one of the things you put in front of us is a baseball card. Tell yes. us about this. NFTs are like a baseball card, but they're digital, they have more value and more benefits. How much does one of these cost? They could go to basically for free, all the way to $69 million. It's the highest one sold. How many of these have you sold? I have sold 50 of them. I sold, a, sold out at my first event. So I had them all for $34 each, mm -hmm. okay. and I sold out of all 50. My NFT trading cards are like baseball cards, but they're digital. You never get a duplicate. I was tired of buying Pokemon cards. So some of us are you know, probably in this new world troglodytes. Uh, t tell us, if you will, how do you guarantee that there's never a duplicate to be made? I would run a program called Mintables. I would slide all 10,000 of my NFTs in there. 
after it scans that every accessory image is not a duplicate, it will tell me that. How do you create value yes. with mm -hmm. the product that you're developing here? I would add traits and DNA. When I add more DNA into it, it gets more valuable. The more lines of code I add into it, it gets more valuable. Mm -hmm. And then when I send that through to the Ethereum market, it says this is gonna be that much. It tells me how much that NFT is gonna be worth. So it's almost like a piece of art that's authentic to me. It's unique only to me, is that correct? Yes. It's like a, a piece of art that has so many prints. Right, right. So NFTs are not just pieces of art, they're also MP4 images, as in their videos. Mm, so it. like a YouTube video, it's, it became an NFT. That person can sell that YouTube video if they want to. Mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wonderful. Thanks, Thanks for explaining that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Next, the moguls discuss the pitches and decide what award will best help the entrepreneurs. So we just listened to um, students, our youth, these, this entrepreneurial magic is crazy. Yes. It's absolutely crazy. We're gonna start with Hoova. This is a hoodie concept, but there's this element of heat in the hood. In the hood and in the body. Uh, it's a really an amazing concept. And I got to thinking for football fans mm -hmm. uh, who've watched the NFL over the years, Bill Belichick. <laughs> wearing his hoodie on the sidelines, you know, in Boston, north of Boston, in bad weather, he would be the perfect sample. It might even make him smile a little bit when he's got the, the Especially heating with element. with the cut-off sleeves. There you yeah, go. Right. Right. Uh, heated head. Then the he could wear sleeves. the cut-offs all the time. It would That's make right. him less grumpy even without Tom Brady. And David, we were teasing with you. We were talking about, you know, there could be some incremental weather and, and maybe you're the first trial specimen wearing the hoodie because <laughs> electrically maybe you get a little shock for your hair. <laughs> <laughs> we were worried he about that. He has great volume. Well, all he can yes. is if it starts raining and I start, you know. <laughs> So yeah, they gotta figure out a few things, but it's just a remarkable concept and the ingenuity. Forget mm -hmm. it. Forget the age. The ingenuity. And they can put a remarkable. patent on that for they sure. You yeah, yeah, definitely. Or something. Right. They right. really do need to, and I think you pointed this out. They really do need to get this certified as safe. Yes. Yeah, there's yep. no, right. no question it can be. But right. that I think is a big next. What I love about their attitude too is that everything is figure outable, right? Mm -hmm. That they have that spirit that whatever challenge you put in front of them they're gonna find a way around or through. So the next one, comma. Very interesting and it's right up your Absolutely. alley. Now this they're is, further along, yes. they're, they're not pre-revenue. They already right. have revenue. $10,000 in sales. And they wanna go up to 500,000. Tell us a little bit about the product. I love that. And so kind of what matters so much to me too is that um, although there are companies that say that they're natural, they have natural products, really they're not 100% clean, right? So somebody who's willing to put their foot in that space because really you have to turn inventory. Natural preservatives will only take you so long on that shelf space. So you have to be really smart and you have to be in forecasting your inventory. So I love that. You know, they talked about triple digit growth uh, year over year. That's absolutely possible. Uh, something we experience too in this space, right? Because people are craving clean. Moving along, this one took me a while to catch on to, but this whole concept of NFT and the uniqueness and then the ownership value goes up the more unique that it is. And at age 12, right. <laughs> started, started at, 10. at 10. I mean, it's just amazing his knowledge, his perception in terms of how to actually make these more valuable. Uh, it was it was fascinating, and as David said, in 15 or 20 minutes, we learned a heck of a lot. We were flipping and scaling baseball cards. Yeah, mm. isn't that wild? Yeah. At age 12. Yep, and, uh, mm -hmm. I remember that well. The old Milwaukee Brewers and the Robin Yacht cards and Gorman Thomas and Cecil Cooper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Next, the moguls present cash and awards to the entrepreneurs. Project Pitch It inspires and educates on the values of entrepreneurialism. In seven seasons, almost $4 million have been invested. We've featured 170 Wisconsin entrepreneurs, creating more than 400 jobs. 92% are still in business with a collective increased revenue of 500%. Entrepreneurs build strong local communities, and together, 
Wisconsin is unstoppable. Well, Josiah, we were just blown away by the knowledge that you've developed from age 10 to age 12 in really a new world uh, that we're not all that familiar with, the world of NFTs, how to create value, how to differentiate yourself, and you knew precisely how we could help you the best. You knew what you needed to take the next step. So originally, the award was going to be $500, but because we were so impressed with how you have a grasp and what your vision is, this group decided that you will get a $1,500 Rising Star Award from us. Congratulations. Stay hungry. There's yeah. no limit as to what you can do. And then can you can do. buy that printer. Stay hungry. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can buy that printer. Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. Ryan, Riley, and Cade from Hoover. You are truly untapping potential. We're learning from you, and together we're going to be unstoppable. You're winning $1,500 in cash. Let's go. Thank you. That's awesome. We are absolutely thrilled for you. Thank you, Thank you for all you're Thank doing you. to support Thank you. entrepreneurism in yes. Wisconsin. Thank you guys so much. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah, that's awesome. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Thank you. Kama. How are you? <laughs> doing pretty well. Yeah, All right. Good. <laughs> well, you're doing better than pretty well. <laughs> Thank you. We're going to give you the $1,500 Rising Star Award. <laughs> give me some. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you why. First of all, your energy and your exuberance woke us up very quickly. <laughs> your presentation, your passion was, 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 was sincere. It was real, so it's fantastic. And as far as the product is concerned, I mean, it's just so very timely. It's what's going on and your understanding as to, I mean, we're only kidding when we're telling you, don't go to college, it's gonna, get, it's gonna get in the way of you guys conquering the world. But anyway, congratulations on, yeah, on what you're you. doing. It's a, it's a real, really good time for it, so thank you. Yeah, and just thank real, you so real much. quick, so Jamie, who was on Project Pitch It in a, in a winter, mm -hmm. three years ago or so, she has a company called Nourish and she's gonna help mentor you. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, your, together your we rise. Yes, yes, yeah. thank, you. thank you. Absolutely. And our goal is to help you untap your potential. <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Right? We love what you're doing. Thank you. Yeah, thank mm -hmm. you. Keep it up. To dive into more on Project Pitch It, check out our new podcast, where we go behind the scenes and talk to the creators, moguls, and entrepreneurs for a deep dive into entrepreneurialism in Wisconsin. Follow us wherever you find your podcasts.